Welcome to the Family Man Group. The Family Man Group has created a fun, engaging, and hilarious TV show that takes you to the path of becoming an effective and efficient manager. We will use two main characters to compare and contrast management skills and will demonstrate their path to becoming better managers. Our Family Man show will contrast two main characters that have very different management styles. We will take you through their journey of learning critical management skills and concepts that are necessary to becoming an efficient and an effective manager. First, let's meet the characters that make our show possible. Our main character of the Family Man show is Peter. He is married to Laos and is the father of Christine Stewie. He is a mid-level accountant manager at the Dunder & Dunder firm. He has strong motivational and interpersonal skills, however, he greatly lacks the conceptual skills that are necessary to be an effective and efficient manager. So he has a very relaxed management style. He is loved by all his employees and is seen as the cool manager of Dunder & Dunder. The management concepts that people, Peter will portray throughout the show will include the strong skill of motivation, the progression to implementing conceptual skills, and the roles of effective management, including planning, organizing, directing, and controlling. He will also be used to demonstrate strategic management and the utilization of code of ethics in the workplace. Our next main character is Laos, who is the wife of Peter and mother to Christine Stewie. She is also a mid-level accountant, but works at Mifflin and Kiflin. She is an experienced manager who has the technical and the conceptual skills necessary to be an effective and efficient manager. However, she greatly lacks interpersonal skills, which greatly hinders her success at the firm. She has a very tough personality and management style, and it is very strong with planning skills. Her great weakness is the lack of interpersonal skills. Therefore, she has difficulty motivating and communicating with her employees. So our show will demonstrate her progression into a personal and motivational manager. Her character will also be utilized to demonstrate management concepts such as the use of conceptual skills and the process of planning. She will also demonstrate the component of expectancy theory. Another character we will use in our show is Chester. Chester is Peter's best friend and co-worker at Dunder & Dunder. He is also from Manbekistan, where treatment of women never progressed from the Dark Ages. He also has a huge crush on Peter's secretary, Daisy. But because of his cultural background, he says inappropriate comments but thinks that he is paying Daisy compliments. His character will demonstrate ethical concepts we will also use him to demonstrate the need to have relationship limitations in the workplace. Another character in our show is Daisy. She is a gorgeous formal Playboy model who is now Peter's secretary at Dunder and Dunder Firm. She is funny, works hard, and is very caring. She has respect for Peter and is constantly trying to help him with his new management position. However, she does have to deal with Chester's sexual remarks on a daily basis and does not know what to do. Her character is used to demonstrate ethical concepts and the concept of sexual harassment. She will also be used to add humor to the show.
Our next character is Stewie. He is the son of Peter and Laos. He is a very good looking young man who is a sophomore at the all time high school. He is extremely popular, plays varsity football and basketball. He is extremely competitive, especially with his sister Christy. He purposely dates her friends to irritate or outdo Christy. His character is used to add humor to the show and also to demonstrate Peter's and Leo, Leo's managerial skills, but in the home setting. Another character we will use is Christy. She is the daughter to Peter and Leo's. She is the most beautiful and most popular girl at school, at all time high school. She is a senior and is the captain of the varsity cheerleading squad. She is very social, but somewhat mean spirited, especially towards her younger brother, Stewie. She is constantly competing with him and trying to piss him off by dating his friends. She also has no desire to listen to her parents and does exactly what she wants to do. Her character will be used to add humor and will also demonstrate Peter's and Leos' managerial skills, but in the home setting. Our character, Professor Williams, is the professor for the course How to Be a Better Manager. He helps Peter through this course to strengthen his managerial skills that he is lacking in. He also helps him to learn to implement managerial concepts to be an effective and efficient manager. He's extremely upbeat, a little quirky, and loves to teach. He will be used to also add humor to the show and to demonstrate managerial roles and strategic management. Our character, Mrs. Ethics, is the ethics officer that Peter hires to help with the implementation and monitoring of the code of ethics. She will help Peter resolve the harassment issue between Chester and Daisy, and also helps Chester to learn appropriate conduct in the workplace. She loves to have fun, jokes a lot, and likes to keep the mood light at work, but also can remain very stern when necessary. She will also be used to add a little humor to the show and will demonstrate the effectiveness of an ethics officer as well as communicate ethics information and policies to the employees of Dunder and Dunder and will also ensure that misconduct is reported. Another character is Susie. Now, Susie is one of Leos' employees at Mifflin and Kifflin. She is sympathetic and caring, loves cats, and is somewhat of a lonely person. So although Leos seems too harsh with the employees, Susie doesn't see Leos as a threat. Rather, she realizes that Leos has a big problem with interpersonal skills. She's, Susie is then very concerned with Leos and really wants to help her. Her character will be used to demonstrate Leos' lack of interpersonal skills and to show how the rest of the staff portrays Leos in the workplace. She will also be used to demonstrate the planning component of expectancy theory. The last characters we will use is Barcella and Geronimo. Barcella is a waitress at the tavern, and Geronimo is a bartender at the tavern. Both of these characters will have very small roles at the beginning of the show, but will be used to demonstrate how managers should not party with employees, because it is not only unprofessional, but causes problems in the workplace. We have created our Family Man show to target the audience of young professionals between the age of 25 and 40. You may wonder why we want to target this particular market segment. Well, first, this segment most likely 
will be a professional environment. The characters will be relatable. They are usually married by then and maybe even have a couple of children, just as our characters do. It is going to be a very challenging time, as in our story, both parents are full-time professionals and parents. By addressing common workplace issues, we hope to hit home with the viewer and personally engage them by discussing actual management concepts, which also can be used in their own profession to grow and help them create solutions more autonomously. Our Family Man Show will demonstrate various managerial concepts. The concepts involved in the show will change from episode to episode. However, one of the main concepts we will focus on is ethics from Chapter 2 in our management book. The, also, another main ethical issue will revolve around Peter's friend's Chester's unwanted sexual remarks towards Peter's secretary, Daisy, who once was a Playboy model. We will also focus on Peter's progression to becoming an effective and efficient manager. We will show his progression to carrying out the basic roles of management, such as planning, organizing, directing, and controlling his work environment. We will also demonstrate how he learns to implement the strategic management process, which he learned through Professor Williams. He initially, at the beginning of the show, has very strong technical skills in accounting and has great interpersonal skills, but we will show how he can develop his managerial skills in greater depth by learning conceptual skills. At the same time, we will use Leos as a contrast to Peter. She will demonstrate a manager that has great conceptual skills but greatly lacks interpersonal skills, which are necessary to becoming an effective and efficient manager. Throughout the show, we will demonstrate her progression to becoming a strong leader that develops strong interpersonal and motivational skills. To give you a little teaser of our family show, episodes one through four are about introducing the characters and placing them in common situations that new and middle-level managers face. Without giving away any of the historical plot, these episodes will show management concepts and theories like ethics, technical skills versus conceptual skills, communication skills, boss versus friend, and a couple others just to tie the story together. Episodes 5 through 7 are about the characters really learning the process to overcoming managerial struggles. Episode 1, The Promotion, will focus on introducing the main character, Peter, at his firm, Dunder & Dunder. This episode introduces Peter's promotion to head manager and his lack of managerial skills. It will also establish his strong friendship with Chester and the difficulty he will have confronting him about sexual harassment. Episode 2, Behind Schedule, will focus on introducing Leos' character and at her firm, Mifflin and Kiflin. Here we will demonstrate her frustration about Peter's promotion. She has worked so hard and has more experience than him, yet he gets promoted while she is stuck at her current position. This episode will demonstrate her personality and management skill. We will also introduce her lack of interpersonal skills and her problem with conveying her company plans to her staff. Episode 3, The Harassment Talk, will address harassment and will also show the difficulties that cultural diversity brings about in the workplace. All forms of harassment in the workplace are completely unacceptable. We will show how to overcome these difficulties and cultural differences. This episode will also address how harassment can originate from these cultural diversity and how it can be diffused by communication. Episode 4, Leos' Smile. 
concept in this episode seems silly on the surface. However, learning how to communicate in a positive manner is a trait all successful managers must possess. Through a bit of silliness, the family man team will show how something as simple as laughing with the family can translate to success in the workplace. Episode 5, Communication and Expectancy Theory. In this episode, Leos discovers the reason she has not communicated well with her staff. She was a math major before finding her love of accounting. So when she, she sees formulas like E equals EP times PO times V, she gets all excited. She's trying to find ways to explain this complex concept and other concepts to her staff and to learn to engage in two-way communication. By the end of her explanation, she has taken a large step towards being an effective communicator. Episode 6 will introduce Mrs. Ethics and Professor Williams. In this scene, Peter has asked Mrs. Ethics and Professor Williams to assist with his and his staff's professional development. It will be a question and answer session with each staff member asking each guest speaker at least one question. The accounting staff under Peter now has a lot of questions because the last manager didn't set any rules. Our final and seventh episode, The Acquisition. In this episode, Mr. Big of Dunder and Dunder announces that in a secret negotiation, they have acquired Mifflin Kifflin accounting firm and will be joining the staff today. This catches everyone off guard. They wondered why the new building had so much extra space. Peter is then told he will keep his current position as head of all mid-level accounting, but his staff of accountants will double in size. In this episode, Leos is also asked to interview for an upper-level position in Dunder & Dunder that manage, matches her skills as an accountant and a manager. It ends with them at home after this very successful day, discussing in their own words the management concepts. As a group, we have agreed that this assignment was an excellent study in group dynamics. The family man started out with a bang and then ran into a bit of problems coordinating and directing our efforts before coming together to end strongly. We should have set a time each day or maybe every other day to collaborate. In this way, a set time agreed on by each member makes accountability possible and sets a course for success.